What's up, divas? What's up, divas? Hey, everybody! Your girl is back for another video. you guys so I'm back with another video today this is not a hair video so you know don't have a fit okay okay listen first I did not like these eyelashes because I thought they were super huge and like girl you doing the most with these after wearing them for like 40 minutes I'm thinking that I'm looking really fucking foxy right now like seriously I'm feeling myself when you start feeling yourself you know you super duper cute you guys are wondering about the makeup look i'll definitely link it below but everything that i used was really inexpensive and it's from a company called sheen they have a makeup line called she glam the site kind of reminds me of like Zoffel, rose gal you know those little cheap sites the makeup is a hit and a miss some things are cool some things are not but the entire look except for the foundation was all from that so you know hey even the eyeshadow girl even the eyebrows except for the hair this is Diva's face. Hi. <laughs> this is a beauty, a monthly beauty box subscription video, okay? Video. But one of them I pay for, okay, which is BoxyCharm. But another one was sent to me, and this one is definitely something different. It is a Korean slash Japanese monthly beauty box. I was tickled pink. A girl was like, yes, hunty, send me some free stuff. Because a girl... Yes, a little bit of wine right on time never hurt nobody, okay? Okay. And this is definitely cheap. Saying we at home, we quarantine, so we might as well drink up and enjoy the tea. So I hope you guys are doing good. We're going to get into this. So the name of the company is No Make, No Life. I'm not really sure what that means. No Make, No Life. Girl, listen. Doesn't sound too positive. Bro, need to go. Bye. That's what I was thinking. So I got this two days i got this on saturday and i have not opened anything except for the box this is a beauty box curated for korean and japanese on the inside of the box it does say hey beautiful love your box share and tag no make no life so that's the name of their website let me tell you guys some pretty tissue paper listen when i opened this box i was like this stuff is so freaking cute like seriously i love cute stuff like cute myself okay okay packaging i love cute stuff they really have like some cute kawaii like they say it kawaii cute stuff okay okay stuff is just like so freaking cute the packaging is like adorable let's hope the products are awesome. the first thing that i noticed is a just a little pamphlet here and beauty and the beast look at that this is so freaking cute. They always use like these cute little characters. I think like this is just to lure you in. That's how they get you to buy the product. That's what I was thinking. This little book, it tells you everything that's in this box. But it also says scan me for a surprise. Oh, where? Activating your streak is easy, which is the QR code. Some of their Instagram followers showing off their boxes where they look pleasantly happy. Okay. And some of their future or past or present boxes also this is the march box but it's april so maybe they're like a month behind I don't know. we need to figure this out so it tells you exactly what's in the box this is cute because it's not on a card it's on an actual pamphlet and for what i'm seeing there are eight things that because it goes up to eight okay there are eight things in the box and it tells you what to do with it like oh the gl they have a glam gift o m g I've never heard of Etude House, but I loved Tom and Jerry. This is some cute stuff here. So yeah, this stuff is super duper cute. In the last page, what's your spirit animal according to your star sign? I'm a Gemini, okay? So I'm, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people out there that don't like me. And that's cool because sometimes I don't even like me. I just want to make people happy. You know what I mean? I am a deer and I am energetic, witty, and intelligent. I need y'all to tell me that. Hello. First one that I see here is the Animal Hot Eye Mask, which is really cute and it tells you how to use it. 
in English. So thank God I don't have to get an interpreter. Ooh. Is that shape? <laughs> Once you open it up, it's going to look like a little animal. It warms up your eyes at 40 degrees. In your box comes one black cat, polar bear, or panda mask. Use the mask immediately after opening it. It stays hot for about 15 minutes. A hot eye mask with a relaxing lavender scent. I'm glad that I kept reading because had I not, I would have just opened this and it would have been a waste. I'm going to try this out tonight. The looks on the back of it, it has like these little ear tap things. I'm not really sure what I'm seeing inside, but I'll definitely post a pic on Instagram if I remember. This, I'm not really sure what animal this is, but it's so freaking cute. Also, number each picture so you know what to look for because girl i wouldn't even know pure porala aqua animal sheet mask this is what i'm talking about they packages is like freaking cute as hell bring out the animal in you with this fun korean sheet mask sweetie if you knew me well you know that i don't need no sheet mask to bring out the animal in me <laughs> Brightening and moisturizing panda mask. I have the soothing mask. You just want to put this on for like 15 minutes. Supposed to hydrate, make your skin feel really good and new. I like for my skin to feel new. Girl, I love new skin. I love sheet masks. I have a collection of them. So I will try it out when the time comes. Country and Stream Oil Block Gel. I'm glad that they put this in here because I, when I first looked at this, I didn't even know what this was, okay? Okay. Fight oily skin with this oil block gel from popular Japanese brand Country and Stream. This gel effectively absorbs sebum. Sebum? What the hell is sebum? Oh, no. Sebum, making your T-zone look matte, smooth, and flawless. Apply it after skincare and before foundation. I'm glad that I read this because when I got it, it was like, I, it's all in Asian, and I don't know what it says except for oil block powder gel, and I would not have known how to use this, but let's just open up this. It has like, it looks like a little um, nail polish brush, and you just want to put, this is so little to put over my entire face. Like, i am be sitting there for days, okay? Not really sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to say this. It is dulling the color down and the shine off my my fingers, so. I'm going to try this out and see how it works tomorrow when I do my makeup. It smells like a coconut scent. Please let it work because I have oily skin. So number I four is the Jagat Cat's Eye Mascara. For Lash Cat's Eye Mascara. Packaging is so freaking cute. I've not opened the box. See what it looks like inside. I love mascara. And the mascara that I have on my bottom lashes is the MAC 3D Waterproof. That's all I wear now, okay? Okay. All I wear. I like the packaging. It has like that hylographic, hy holographic, you know what I'm saying? Glow to it. Let's see what the brush looks like, because that'll make it or break it. Pretty decent brush. This is a de decent brush. But from the size of the brush, I'm feeling like this is going to work out. I'm going to give this a try. Unfortunately, I already had makeup on because I did an entire makeup look. I have a nice collection of mascara. Some I only use on the top lashes. So if this is not meeting my expectations like the MAC would, then I would probably use this on the top because I always have one individuals. And I love the freaking packaging. Dude, their packaging is like so effing adorable. Like seriously. Let's see. Number five is the Odo Cat Blush. It doesn't tell me the color. Oh, the color is CC35. Yes, that is my favorite color. CC35. Girl, I wear that all the time. Comes with, oh, this is so freaking cute and little. What the heck? This is so little and cute. It reminds me of that brand. What is that brand Um, with the cat on it? You guys know that other makeup brand has like the cat on it. It kind of looks like this. It's like a really cheap brand. This is the powder puff. This is like really tiny. Like people, we don't have tiny faces. You could, you didn't even have to include this. Look at, ooh, shh. This is bright. Whoa. So this is the color of the cat. And let's see, the other colors, they're bright. This, 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 this thing is bright. Yeah. Okay, so when you use your finger, it ain't so bright. It's very chalky. The color is very chalky. Wouldn't wear this. Now we are on to number six, which is the Cute Cat Rose Bath Bomb. Knew that's what this was in here. I knew it. Look at how freaking cute the packaging is. So I don't even want to open it because I'm, I, I'm going to give this away to someone, like someone else. Okay, the reason why I'm not going to use it is because of this. Okay, I don't take baths. Okay, I just don't take baths. Yeah, girl, me too. I don't take baths. Bottom line, I don't, 
I don't get in the bathtub. I don't. Um, listen. So that's why I'm not using the bath bomb. Like, yeah, I can't do the bathtub thing. There's something about sitting in your own dirty water that just doesn't get really well. So I take showers every day. I have taken baths, but um, of course, who hasn't taken baths? As a kid, you take a bath. And then as a kid, you take a bath and you do some things in the bathtub that's not really cool, like being in the water. So I, I just, I'm not really like a huge bathtub person, but I maybe, listen, I might get in the bathtub like once or twice out of the whole year. But if I get in a bathtub, I'm definitely getting in the shower after that. To me, like getting in a bathtub is like getting in a pool, a public pool. You have like all of these bodies in the pool with you and you're all bathing in clothes. Like, I don't know. I just don't like it. I just can't. The packaging though is so freaking cute. And this is their cute cat rose bath bomb. Lovely rose scent. Oh, and I love rose scent. I love it. You're being a bit dramatic right now. You know what? I'm going to just open it. I have to why they lie to me? This is not a cat. This is a ball. They said that I will either get a black, yellow, or special pink cat. Oh, there's a cat inside of here. Meow. A little pussy inside of here. But I will say, meow. You have a little prize inside. Maybe I'll give this to one of my grandkids. I don't know. But it does smell real freaking good, though. I will tell you guys that. Number seven, Holica Holica Pig Nose clear black head and three-step kit. Gives you a step-by-step -step of how to clear your blackheads. The Holica Holica three-step kit will help you to get rid of those stubborn blackheads and minimize pores for clean and smooth skin. Step-by-step -step blackhead. They love kind of skincare and I love skincare too. Shit. Last one is an animal headband and this one is so cute because I'm about to put this on for the video and look extra. Okay, oh look, it's a headband and you don't really have to do much with it. It is a headband that you can make fit on your own. So it says you transform into, I can transform into a cute animal with this soft animal headband. I'm going to transfer into a cute animal. Hello, they used my word cute. It has like some type of wiring right here and they make it look so freaking cute. So like how am I supposed to put this on? I don't really know what animal I'm supposed to be. Oh yeah, no. How does this work out? It's gonna be a problem. Wow. There's this is this is this is definitely not working out in my favor right now. Tip, take a selfie. That's not a tip. Just tie it. I just tie it. I'm acting all special. Oh. So cute. I don't really know what animal I am. I mean, I guess I could be whatever I want to be. Okay. I'm really excited. I'm 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 really excited about trying this um this oily skin stuff. Like I'm really excited about trying this. And you know what? I hopefully when I put it on, it doesn't make my makeup look patchy. But if this really works, honey, I'm gonna need this in a way bigger bottle because I got a whole face. I'm gonna need this for a whole face. We're gonna have to put this in like a pump bottle so that way I could just pump, 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 and then smear, smear, smear. No make, no life. Listen, I guess if you don't put no makeup on, you ain't got no life. That might mean what it means. I'm not really sure, but you can definitely check them out. I will leave the information below. Moving I'm along, I'm about to keep this on. We're going to go into the next box. This is what I pay for, okay? However, this month, for the first month of April, first time ever in my life, I got a free, a free makeup monthly subscription. Only because if I like it, they're going to charge me next month. Okay, go figure. The first one that I'm going to... Well, this is the first one. The second one. The one I'm going to review right now is a by Ipsy. One of my subscribers here on YouTube, she was so kind as to send me one of her links. So that way I can try out Ipsy for a month for free. This is the basic packaging, which is only $12. For $12, you get a pretty nice amount of stuff. I do have two sheet masks that I did not bring with me to the table. But I did get two sheet masks with this box. A cute little bag, okay? Some other nice things, such as this right here, which is by an indie brand, I do believe, which is called Kaleido Blush. I have been using this, and it comes out really pigmented. Well, nothing special about the packaging. It just looks very plain. But the color that I have is a called Prima Donna. I'm liking Ipsy. It has this little tiny mirror on it like, girl, this is cute to put in your purse. Not really a big fan of the packaging, but who's wearing the packaging? It's the makeup that counts. So 
I do like that. Also do like this eyeshadow. This is by a brand called Oriza. Oriza, I've never heard of this brand. And the packaging is also very basic and simple. So I'm thinking like it's a newer brand. I'll be used these colors. And let me tell you guys, very beautiful colors. For it to be so basic, like there's no mirror. It's just plastic. It's nothing spectacular about it. But for $12, honey, you definitely cannot complain. I don't care about the packaging. Well, I'm lying. I do care about the packaging. But for $12, I'm not really going to care about it too much. So these are the colors, if you can see it. They're very pigmented. And I did use um, three of the colors. I did not use this one yet here on the bottom. But from the looks of it right here, it's a very pretty copper tone color. For $12, I might just have to keep this month in subscription. You buy it for $12, okay? Okay. Now, also in the packaging, concealer. Now, this is in the color medium beige. Let me tell you, I have used this too. The only thing that got me with this that um this concealer was it looked just like covergirl okay it looks like the covergirl that i used because they also have the same black and white stripe packaging except for their lines are not as thick but it's very similar like it's kind of like a knockoff but it's by a brand called koki professionals be bright illuminating concealer it has a good consistency it's water-based it gives you like medium coverage you can definitely build it up but you know when you build stuff up it kind of gets cakey but i do like it i don't it's kind of pale for my skin but I would, I have used it like right here. Like, you know, I ain't going all out with it, but hey, you also get a cute little bag. You can't beat that for $12. Some little products. I'm not really sure. I'm going to do like one more month with it and see what it look, what it's looking like. Okay. So moving so on moving to BoxyCharm. Now I'm going to just say this. I, I have BoxyCharm. I have the base box and the premium box and also Boxy Luxe. Now I will be honest and say this. The premium box this month was shit, and I pay for every last one of them. So I'm just saying, I'm going to use curse words. Don't get crazy. Base box was more my speed. It actually worked out in my favor, and I like the products that they had in it. And they also gave me one of these little sleeves. In my premium box, they forgot to hook a girl up with one of their boxy charm sleeves. I guess they figured that they didn't really want me to know what was in it because other people probably got better stuff than I did. Ooh. Is that shape? <laughs> But moving right along, product here, which is by Benefit. This is their professional pore control. This is the Hydrate Primer. I did use this that day. I normally only use the other one because my skin is oily, so I don't really need any hydration. After using this for the day, I was looking like a baked chip. Like, I just looked like you was ready to frost something. This hydrating primer is not one of my favorites because I already have oily skin. Putting this on top of it really didn't help me out. It kind of made me look a, like really shiny and oily. This retails for $32. The next one is the Zoeva eyeshadow palette. Next one also retails for $28. I'm so happy that they sent me an eyeshadow palette that will work for my skin tone or basically my mood because I'm not really into like those very loud colors. Very neutral palette and I like it um, somewhat. Uh, it was like a hit or miss. Like, I'm not really like a huge big fan of this palette, honestly. Like, the colors were okay. This color is gorgeous. I'm not really into cool colors. I'm more or less a warm girl, okay? That's me, warm. But I will say this. I'm very appreciative that they did not send me anything loud and obnoxious because I don't, I don't do loud and obnoxious. Would I pay $28 for this? I don't think so. I definitely don't think so. But hey, the whole box was only 25 so it's like I got one thing and I got the rest for free. Now this is what I have tried out and I do like it, but certain type of liquid highlighters or illuminators, you definitely need to be careful about. This one is by Iconic and it's $41. This one, girl, is bomb as hell. And I also do like the way they have their little glass droplet. It kind of has like a curve on it. So I'm thinking that it might make it come out a little better. I don't know, but we're going to just dab that right there, honey. Now, here's the thing with this one. I noticed when you have your makeup already on and stuff, you cannot put this stuff on top of it because it will definitely make your makeup look very patchy. The color is really pretty and very highlighted. So I would say, girl, if you want to glow, then go for this. But be careful when you're putting it on. If you've already applied your foundation, I would say put a couple of drops of this in your foundation. Girl, you'll be good to go. You'll be shining like freaking stars at night. This one thing that I really like the most out of this 
box was these lavish five piece neon eye brush um eye brush collection okay so i already used it all right i've been using it ever since and i absolutely love it if i had to choose what was my favorite brush it would be this eyeliner brush which is bomb as hell this is the fine liner i have like the hugest issue with putting on liner so this worked out amazing for me brush right here for your brows is also awesome I love it. I've used every last brush and honestly, the whole collection is worthy, but the price point of it is $30. So it's like $5 a brush. Would I say that they're worth $5 a brush? Well, you know, I'm cheap as hell. So I would just say no. But being that I like it so much, I probably would have to say yes. The last product that I did receive in this box was the Baddington Lashes. And this is their Harlow 3D Silk Lash with Mini Glue. Well, I already used those and wore those lashes. Okay, they retailed for $31. I'm going to just say this. They sure was not worth $31. They were not worth $31. Oh, is that shape? <laughs> the 3D Lash Effect mimics the growth structure of your lashes for the ultimate and natural glamour. They lying. So now we're going to move on to the premium box. So here goes the Boxy John Premium. And like I said, I pay for all of this shit. This month, I did get this here, which is the PMD Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device. I got a couple of these. Not a couple, but I got one. You know how you use something for so much and it's like, I'm over it now? That's how I felt. But this, it vibrates. You hear that? Then like beats pulses honey i don't know about cleaning your face with this but um might get a little lonely sometimes might need a massage i'm just saying okay first clean your face and then you know but i thought it was cool I, I did not try it on my face yet i didn't try it there either but i don't need to but i did try it on the back of my neck because i woke up with a horrible stiff neck and it feels good as a massager, honey, okay? I put this on my neck the other night. You can use this for multiple things if you want to. Also in the box was this mascara. I've never seen mascara in an actual tube before by Wander Beauty, the Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I used this stuff. I was not really impressed with it. Like, seriously, this stuff was not, like, on my game changer list. Could do without this um, mascara was not like a big hit to me. I'm not sure if it's the product, the wand, but I'm not like a huge fan of this at all. You know, I did hear some people raving about it, but girl, y'all think some of y'all be lying just for views. I did try this out, which is the Pharmacy Honey Pot Face Cleanser, the renewing anti antioxidant mask for your face, hydration mask, and I really do like it. It, it kind of like stings on your face, and it comes with this little metal spoon that has magnets, it's magnetized, and this works good. I love the box. It's very chic. It looks elegant and expensive. It kind of reminds me of I'm a natural girl. Like, I only use organic stuff. And I shop at Whole Foods and Sprouts. That's that's what this is giving me. Like, I'm a Valley Girl vibe. But the product looks really good. So, this here, which I have yet to use. This is the Age Away Replenishing Cream by Levito, Inspired by Nature. I love anything inspired by nature. I mean, hey. Why would I want a bunch of chemicals on my face? Supposed to hydrate your skin. I have yet to use this because, listen, a girl is already wrinkled, excuse me, already oily enough. But this has grapefruit seed in it and avocado. I'm pretty sure if I put this on my skin right away that um, I feel kind of insulted. This does this say for dry, mature skin. So what they're basically wanting to say is for ashy and old skin. Old, ashy, ass skin. This is a rejuvenator. I think not. I also did get this lip tint, whatever you want to call it. I did see other people getting like a different brand. That's why I'm talking about. They be trying to skimp and stuff, and I'm not with it. I don't even know what brand this is. It's by Juice Beauty, the organic solution. That's why I didn't know. I'm not organic. Had I been organic or vegan, I would have known. I'm not really sure about this color. Not too bad, even though it's kind of like taken away from the color scheme that I was going for. You guys know I like colors like this, so I'm going to just keep this. I'm going to keep it. And then the last but not least was the one item that I picked out for myself, and I was so happy to get it because I love this girl, okay, this lady. I love her highlights, so I got me a Becca Cosmetics blush, and this is a luminous blush in the color Camilla. I was like, damn, why is this thing so small? The highlighter is not that small. I thought I was bugging out. Is this like a mini size and I don't know about it? Like, does the blush come in this small sizes or is this like a mini size? 
if somebody buys Becca cosmetic blushes, can you please tell me if this is supposed to be the normal size? Because all of the highlighters are way bigger than this. Or not way bigger, but they're big enough. So I don't really know. But the color is pretty. I've wore this also. You know, listen, I wear stuff. I mean, I shit, if I pay for it, I'm definitely going to wear it. So that was the whole entire boxy charm. And then last but not least, okay, you guys, is, um, oh, well, I don't really have the products here with me. But I will say this. I'll just pop in an insert picture. Now you guys are all out there looking and searching for hand sanitizers, PPE. Let's just call it that. We're going to break it down. PPE. Okay. Now I'm not sure if any of you guys have checked any of the local wig websites and I say local like them shits is around the corner, but they're really not. But if you check on wig websites, you will see that they have PPE. Why not? So one of my regulars that I have quite frequently frequent with and did reviews sent me out, <clears throat> excuse me, sent me out some of their facial masks. Okay, this is by Niflion Wigs, and I've done quite a few videos for them. I think that's how you say it. Niflion Wigs, they do sell PPE. So you can get yourself you can get yourself a box of 50 face masks. Along with that, you can also get hand sanitizers and alcohol swabs and probably other stuff that also is in the category of PPE. I know that you guys are searching high and low because ugh, why else? You guys just don't want to run the streets with a face mask for just no apparent reason, right? But you can check out Nifly on Wigs. I will post their information below for their PPE. And also on that note, I'm going to go because I got to do another video. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Got my hand. <clears throat> Got my hand sanitizer here. Best to just spruce it up. You know, I don't want to catch any type of germs. I look so cute with this little head thing on. My God. Uh, mm, that color don't look real good on you. You don't want that. Anyway, all the information will be down below for No Make, No Life. And, yeah. And BoxyCharm also. And Neflion Wigs. And Ipsy. And on that note, I'm out, you guys. <clears throat> Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Let me know your thoughts on this video for today. And yes, the wig that I have on is by Divas Wigs. And I'll make sure to post that down below also if I remember, along with the original video that I did for this wig. So let me know what you think, colors, makeup, girl. Is it cute or what, hunty? Oh, it's 4.30. I don't know. Maybe I won't do another video. Bye. Bye. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.